Right, going to tie some dials. Um, probably one of the best flies on a lake when you're an infant. Loads of variations. So I'm going to tie my variation of it, one that I like. Um, we've all got a little quirks about it. Some I tie on black hooks, some I tie on bronze hooks. Uh, the one I'm going to tie tonight is on a black hook. It's a black nickel and it's a Hanek 266. A little bit of a twist of it. I ain't using any thread. What I'm going to use is Hens Red Holographic. Really good and it's really strong as well. So, like I say, a bit of a twist of it. So, we'll just put the holographic on the hook. The raggy bit around there. And I am now, when I can find a one, I'm going to put some cock hackle as the tail. Decent pinch of it. There you go. Snip it in a couple of times. When I want some black peacock, a decent piece. Right, what I do with this, hold the fat end, hold this end, and just put a bit of tension on it and pull it along, and it'll snap at the first weak point. What you don't want is this to snap halfway through a fly, which it often does. So I just nip it on there. And then back up. Now, what I haven't done is, when I cut the excess off, I always cut it with the eye on the same angle. It just means when I go back up with thread or the tinsel, the body's pretty uniform. Right, tie this on in reverse to the normal way. Try and get as good a touch and turns as possible. Up. I had a good conversation about this fly the other day with Tony Baldwin. I rate Tony as one of the best nymph anglers in the country, and this is his favourite one. Problem Tony said he had with it, it never lasted long enough. Rib always comes off it. One more, and then I can snap it. So, a little tip for you, Tony. I use more super glue than most people. Not sure, isn't it? Put a super glue on there. And then just wind the rib up. Now, this rib ain't going nowhere. That's it. Just a couple of turns just to nip it in. Now, this is the second take I've done of this, this fly. The reason I've had to do it again is the first time I didn't let the soup glue dry, so I made a mess of it. So we've got it there so far. We now want to grab some fibers for the throw tackle. That's them. Now when I put a throw tackle on, I usually take the fibers to the bend of the hook. So that's the right length, marry them up, and just nip them in. There you go. Just pull the excess down and cut it off. Easy, straightforward tying. Three turns on the wood finish. Pull it up, take your finger out and pull it. And that is virtually complete. What I do do for a bit of extra security, I don't varnish the head. Super glue. So I'll just dab a bit of super glue on there. Nice shiny, shiny head on it. And that holographic has come through there better. Lovely fly, caught a lot of fish this year. Enjoy!